Well, I've been struggling with trying to figure out a inexpensive way to use my solar panels that I already bought um, to produce electricity when the grid failure happens. And um, it's not that simple or inexpensive, I found. Basically, we have a situation where we're connected to the grid via our main service panel and our AC modules are um, DC power and we basically convert them into AC power for, via a grid um, inverter. So the problem is now we need to um, have a battery bank usually uh, and then for that we need a battery charger and this battery inverter fakes out our um, micro inverters and basically causes them to produce power but once they're producing power they are unregulated so um, we could overcharge our battery so it starts to become pretty complicated. Anyway, what you need is a hybrid inverter to be able to manage all this, properly size it. The other thing that you need to do is rewire a separate sub-panel for your critical loads. And that's another uh, level of hassle. So I guess in a word it is quite complicated um, and expensive. So two words, complicated, expensive. Um, and you could kind of just see that here's the Alt -E store. They have a kits that are already incorporated battery backup, but they're very expensive. I did twice, I put together a system with twice the almost twice the um, wattage for half this price. So it's not probably something for most people to uh, deal with. And so if you're thinking about doing this in advance, you need to explore this concept of AC coupling versus DC coupling. It's possible that you have to set up a totally different type of system to if your if your goal is to do battery backup and um, as far as um, some of the efficiency of course of the grid tied system is um, that that we get to use the utility as our battery and so therefore there's no battery charging, there's no maintenance, we don't have to worry about throttling back our panels. They pour electricity out to our loads and then they just go, it goes straight to utility. If you start to mess around with batteries in an inverter, in a battery inverter, uh, you are going to complicate your design. Another issue is that you got to have a place to put your batteries and put your battery inverter, which may be, um, it's, you know, there are enclosures that you could buy, yes, um, but it's likely that you're going to need a lot more space. Uh, so it becomes really complicated. Good luck with your project and thank you for watching.